there's some news about the flight model, which I'm not sure if it's good or bad. And I have an excuse to use High Fleet as an example for something in a video. So it's going to be great. Okay, let's get started. Um, so the interesting piece here is that one of the guys over at the leak Discord had an interview with Yogi Klatt, and he asked him several questions, and the answers were quite interesting. Okay, so hover mode. While well, a good experiment and learning experience will not be brought back. It failed due to lack of UI and difficult controls. You will, however, be able to disable gravity assist while decoupled. Harder to control, but less punishing. Okay, now, that's concerning for me because do they mean they want to remove all hover gameplay or just hover as a gameplay, as a specific mode to reach the goal of ships realistically hovering to the ground, close to the ground? Because you can see here, gravity assist, auto gravity compensation. And that's currently in the game, when you extend your gear, it's basically forced on, which means your ship, for all intents and purposes, turns off gravity around it, because you can just hover in any direction you want. And I think some people made the argument that it's not exactly the same as this as coupled mode. So I would consider it's like coupled mode with more drift, but you can basically turn off the pull of gravity to hover perfectly where you want, and in any rotation you want. And I think that's a problem. However, I'm optimistic about something else in the sitcom video. Let's see over here, find the time stuff. To put on the headphones. Possible with a new system. So let's talk about the problem. How do you come to a stop now? To come to a stop with the new system, you need to purposefully put the ship into a stall. But don't worry, when we don't have the thrusters disconnected, IFCS will help you. So you're gonna bring down the speed more and more until you're reaching stall speed, which is about now. And then the thrusters will kick in and, and catch you. That means, however, you are now in a state that the thrusters don't, don't like, right? So at the moment we have turned this up, but in the future you will not be able to hold this for long. So if Brent, for example, now from a hover, strafe is left. The thrusters won't like it and that you won't be able to hold it for long. Now, my first question is, does he mean that you won't be able to hover like this horizontally, or does it mean you won't be able to hover for long in any orientation you want? Because what I would like to have is that hovering would only be possible if you're somewhat in a horizontal, horizontal position with your ship. And then there should be an immediate uh, negative consequence of the thrusters overheating in five or 10 seconds, and then you're losing a um, lift and starting to fall. And the secondary consequence of thrusters starting to wear out over time. So there's a short-term problem that's caused by it and a long-term problem. And I think the window of time you have for staying hovering like that should be really short. So it should be good enough for you to try to land and to actually entice you as a player to learn how to efficiently land. So it shouldn't be like a one or two minute time window where you can just stop in the middle of the air, press F1, select the mission, or look around for a nice landing zone. That's something you should plan ahead as you approach in the place. Because any amount of time that you can just hover in the air and effectively turn off aerodynamics and gravity just to look around where you want, then you're basically pausing the situation. There will be like in an FPS shooter, if you press freeze and the time around freezes, time around you freezes, so you could just decide what to do next in the middle of a gunfight. Because the, the, the place between the space and atmosphere, unless you landed on the ground or in, in zero G in space, that should be a, a situation where you're constantly engaged in flights and where you have to make a decision to a land or do a flight out, out of atmosphere. It shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any possibility to just pause the flight for any extended amount of time. So I think I'm optimistic if, if they tighten up the tolerances for how much time you can spend hovering, then I think it's going to be engaging. Okay, now, as I said at the beginning of the video, now I got an excuse to show off High Fleet as an example. Okay, let's go High Fleet. Uh, uh, where's the Sevastopol? That's the largest ship in the game you get at the beginning of the game. Okay, it's Sevastopol, and I'm going to test it in landing. Now, as I'm flying, I can't use a mouse pointer during flight. Pay attention to, there's going to be an overheat thruster thing up here on the screen. And basically, as you're falling, you have to balance your thrust, because if I fall too fast and try to increase thrust with shift, 
near the ground. Notice the engine temperature goes up. Then it might happen that the, the thrusters just just give out and you just crash to the ground. So you have to sort of balance your fall like that. And ideally, that's what, what I would like uh, for for landing to be like in, in Citizen Con, uh, in Star Citizen. You know, increasing thrust. Notice my engine temperature. If, if the bar goes too far, thrusters will fail. And notice the ship is built so it can barely lift itself. Notice here as it's turning. See that here? I have to carefully manage how much my thrusters can handle so I don't fall out of the sky. And if I let go of the thrusters... See that? And I have to carefully catch it. Notice how much inertia the thrusters have to overcome. That would be a great thing to have in a flight model, because currently ships have almost no inertia to them. Back in Star Citizen, if you take a Starlifter, which is a 400-ton cargo plane, basically, you press W, even in atmosphere, it will accelerate on a 30, 50 meters in two or three seconds from a standstill, which means the thruster, the animations of the thrusters, the animations of the thruster flames can't even kick in fast enough if the ship is already moving. Oh, in this game, notice here, thrusters keep firing, and then only a few seconds after, the inertia is slowly overcome. And that's how heavy a ship should feel in Star Citizen. <laughs> 